Welcome back, classmates. By this time, we're familiar enough with each other that you won't find a cyber cafe or an introduce yourself section in e-college. But this short segment will give you an overview of where we're going for this next 10 weeks, this semester in LDR 686, Organization Design, Development, and Change. If I told you that you'd be an expert in organizational design and development at the end of this 10 weeks, and of course, OD is a combination of a number of sciences, I'd be lying. But as I discussed in the first week introduction to OD video, you do know a great deal more than you realize. This class is where you really start to synthesize what you know with what could be. We had too many discussions last semester about the value of your degree here. We're not going to have those discussions this semester unless you're graduating from Harvard, Yale, MIT, Stanford, or some similar top 10 university. What really makes the difference in your degree is you. A piece of paper is just that, a piece of paper. How you're able to absorb data, synthesize it into practice, and more importantly, share it with others is what will set you apart. Learning to adapt, be more flexible, negotiate solutions, and innovate is key to your future success, regardless of your field. If you've been taking classes in the standard student education format where you learn something for Friday's test or one major paper and can't remember it on Monday, then you've completely missed the boat on why you're here. Organization design, development, and change requires you to synthesize knowledge from every other class you've had, and some you haven't, but can research in order to create something new, whether it was organizational culture, ethics, strategic planning, finance, philosophy. Maybe you've taken training, negotiation, all combined together to help form organizational design, development, and change. As I've done for you in the past, I dumped the nearly $300 doorstop textbook. It's a great book for concept and terminology, but not for 10 weeks, and not for having real tools you can apply today and forever afterwards. I've chosen Designing for Growth and What Matters Now on purpose for what they teach you, not because you can buy them both on Amazon for less than $30 combined, last I looked. They're both easy reads in terms of how things are explained and how quickly you can move through them. So I don't want to hear any complaints about how much reading you have to do because A, it's not difficult, and B, this is graduate college, not undergraduate or high school. I've completely redesigned e-college for this class since the last time I taught it last fall, and it is still in some cases under construction, particularly in lecture videos that I haven't created yet, but I'm working on as time allows. So let's take a look at e-college generically and what we have for the next 10 weeks. When you go and you log into the home page, you'll notice that, again, there's no cyber cafe. At Course Home, on your left, is the syllabus as it stands now, this video, our planned weekly schedule, and the grading rubrics. Your syllabus and the grading rubrics can also be found in doc sharing. You're not required to journal in this class, nor are there any quizzes. There are more videos from 3 to 20 minutes in length with discussion threads. In this class, it's time you learned how to express your thoughts in writing more concisely. So pretty much every discussion thread requires two paragraphs at the most, no more. Maybe one paragraph. One may do. Depends on how clearly you can share your thoughts. Every week on a particular home page will be your list of assignments and, yeah, a silly cartoon or two. We're meeting on Thursdays, so get your initial post done over the weekend, and then you can respond to your classmates, a minimum of two classmates, by the following Wednesday. Thursday mornings, I'll do the grading for the previous week, period, end of discussion. If you go to doc sharing, there are a considerable number of PDFs already in doc sharing, which some professors would, might say makes it too easy for you because you don't have to look these things up. They're not all required. They're background data for some of the presentations you'll see, foundational theory work in the field, and current trends. I'll add more throughout the semester, and you can use them as you need and save them for future use. If there's required reading of an article or two in a discussion thread, I've included in the discussion thread those articles so you don't have to jump around as much. In the webliography, as with doc sharing, there are a number of very useful websites here, and I will continue to add to them. They're there to help you do research and to grow. In fact, most of them are things you'll want to bookmark or favorite because you can use them for the rest of your life. There is a Dropbox, and most of the time, the Dropbox will show up within your weekly thread when an assignment is due, but otherwise, you can go right to the Dropbox and drop things in and upload your assignments, when which point I'll grade them and get them back to you. Now, your assignment and point scale for this class for the next 10 weeks 
In the first week's thread, there's a listing for four self-assessments. In the webliography, there's a list of sites. You may have done some self-assessments in previous classes. You need to do four of them. You need to copy off of the Internet whatever the results of that assessment is. Put them all together in a Microsoft Word document, your standard APA format, 12-point font, double-spaced, Times New Roman. And then just write a short essay that tells whether or not you agree with the assessments and what you intend to do about it. There are discussion threads throughout the 10 weeks, 20 points a week assigned there. What matters to you comes off of the book, What Matters Now, 200 points there. You're going to do a research paper and a nonprofit paper. I'll explain those in detail in a moment, so don't have a heart attack. And, of course, your standard course reflective essay for the standard 1,000 points. 91% is an A. Check your syllabus. In week one is the place that the four self-assessment description and the Dropbox are listed. On the other hand, your deadline is week four. You can't lead if you don't understand yourself, so you need to do some self-assessing and decide whether those tests are accurate and what you can do about it. Again, the discussion threads are 20 points per week because of the number and quality of the work expected as opposed to what you're used to seeing from me, which is 100 points per week. After reading What Matters Now, which is an easy read by Gary Hamill, each of you will write a four to seven page self-analysis following again your APA format. No reference section is necessary, but double space times New Roman. Discuss how you're going to apply the concept discussed in this book in your organizational, academic, personal, and professional lives. It's all kind of intertwined. It's due by the end of week eight, but if you read this book in the first week and write the paper, turn it in. You can turn it in whenever you want. And this is an individual plan of action moving forward. It is not subject to peer review. You're not posting it in a discussion thread for other classmates to read. This is, again, an exercise in self-development and self-growth. In slight deference to those of you who hate group projects, I've restructured how we're doing this. Graduate school is in heavily involved in group projects for a reason, no matter where you go. In week four, the executive director and the services director for Gateway are going to join us for the night. We'll spend the first part of the evening learning what is for them. And then the rest of the evening using tools from Designing for Growth to explore what if and assigning individual tasks for the remainder of the semester for each of you. There is no group project grade. Weeks 9 and 10 are going to be entirely devoted to in-class collaboration of your individual work into something that we can present back to the organization and their board of directors. There will be no individual PowerPoint presentation on your main paper, and I will be the editor and overseer of the group results and the group project. Now, within your assignments, of course, there are research and nonprofit papers. Your research paper is an academic treatment of the work you're doing on behalf of our chosen nonprofit. Your nonprofit paper is the version that would be present back to the organization. As you know from your reading and from your prior work, what we read that's accepted scientifically and academically as published papers is not how we present things in organizations to our teams or to our superiors. So you're going to do two variations of the same work and get points for both. The meeting dates are not going to go exactly as uh, structured in your normal online in-class, online in-class variation. We start week one online, but then we're going to go weeks one, three, five, seven, and eight online. Seven and eight, back to back online. We will be in class weeks two, four, six, and then again nine and ten, where I will lead us in pulling all the research that you've done together into something cohesive that we can take back to the board of directors at Gateway. So there you are for this semester. The finish for your degree is in sight. You're close. So let's work together to push the boundaries for not only what you understand, but what you're capable of so that you'll be prepared to lead no matter what opportunities and challenges you face.